Trade Confident Family. Guys, Travis Martin here. How is it going? As promised, I am going to be coming out with a video today, which is going to be kind of a mini masterclass on how to trade futures on Coinbase. I have been scouring the web and I cannot find a good video anywhere online that just teaches the basics of how to trade futures on Coinbase. There's one guy that did a decent job, um, but <laughs> hopefully I'm here to, to steer you guys in a little better direction. Uh, he did good, but I, I think I can give you guys a little bit more insight here. All right, so here is the the goal of trading futures. The goal of trading futures is to capitalize on price action movements in Bitcoin uh, with the ability to use leverage, but more so than that, what's very appealing to a lot of traders is the ability to actually short Bitcoin and make money as the market is going down. And I've mentioned this to you guys before, but we, we are not in a stage yet, in my personal opinion, where we are at a place where we want to be looking to, to get very aggressive into short trades. That is probably not going to happen until about November and December of 2025. That's where all of our analysis points uh, to the greatest probability of winning your short trades is going to be at the end of the market cycle, which is roughly November and December. However, we are at a mid-cycle top, and if you guys have been watching the future forecast, we do believe we have a decent move down here. So I thought, hey, you know what? Let me give you guys the education in today's video. If you feel that there are short positions you want to take, I want to show you how to do this. So this is going to be a masterclass here where it is going to be very important for you guys to take out a piece of paper and a pen or write some notes down. The futures market is not like the spot market. You do not trade price. You trade actual contracts and you trade a tenth of the price of Bitcoin. I'm going to go through all of this. But please just understand if you guys have questions through this, watch this video over. I will go into as much detail as possible in this video. I must say this up front. I'm not a financial advisor and trading futures is very risky because if you like it or not, Coinbase is going to force you to use between two to three X leverage on long and short positions on futures. Some of you are really excited about this. Others of you are going to do very terrible with this. And I'm just going to be really blunt because leverage can really screw you up. So listen and watch how I trade this here. Um, and, and I'll explain this to you guys so you can do this with good risk management so you don't blow your accounts. All right. First of all, if you don't have a Coinbase account, you need to have a Coinbase account. <laughs> so let's start there. Once you're here on your Coinbase account and you have your home screen, I want you guys to come up here and click on your beautiful mugshot. And then I want you to come over and click on advanced. Now, most of you guys on Coinbase are very familiarized with what we call the spot market. The spot market is a very simple way to place limit and market orders. For an example, you come up here and you choose the asset. In this case, we're gonna use Bitcoin. And if I want to come in and very quickly just buy, let's say $10,000 worth of Bitcoin, I could do that by going to buy market and just putting $10,000 in here and I could buy this. This is a very simple way of quickly entering into the market and buying Bitcoin. You can also do buy limits here. The spot market is designed specifically for traders who want to go long, or in other words, people who are betting on the price going up after they enter into the market. The thing about a spot market is that this does not allow you the ability to do what we call short trading. Shorting is when you are betting on the market going down and you actually make money as the market goes down. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you guys think that this drop is coming as we are predicting, this may not be a bad time to learn this and try to work this out on your own to understand how this works so you can take some uh, profits potentially on a move down here that we expect coming within the next uh, two, three months here. So let's come over and let's walk through this. On this page here, I want you guys to come down and click to the second little box here that says futures. All right, hope you have your piece of paper out and your pen. The notes are gonna start right now. Very important you understand this. The futures market does not trade the same time as the spot market. The spot market for cryptocurrency is 24 seven. Let me get my little mark right here so you guys can visually see this. 24 seven is the spot market. Okay, futures takes a break, which I'm doing this during the, the close right now so you can see this. Futures markets are closed. Trading resumes in 52 minutes. Okay, futures markets are open for trading from Sunday, 6 p.m. 
to Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern time, excluding observed holidays with a one-hour listen, a one-hour break each day from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. This correlates to everybody in the uh, Western United States. This is a 2 p.m. close. So write this note down. I'm going to structure this to Pacific time because I know a lot of us uh, in, in our membership are in Pacific, but you can translate it here and you can read this in Eastern. 2 p.m. Pacific time, futures markets stop trading for an hour, okay? During this hour, your funds are going to settle, okay? So if you opened up, let's say, a short position in the morning, and let's say you open this up at 9 a.m., and you ended up closing this at, say, uh, 11 a.m., and let's say you did a great job and you made... Uh, you know, $2,000, okay? You are not going to see your $2,000 in your USD balance until after the hour has closed from 2 to 3 p.m. This is basically what I want to call for you guys a clearing hour. It's where all the contracts get cleared and it's where the profit or the loss on your day's trades clears into your account, okay? You are, let me say this again. If you wake up at nine and you take a trade and you close the trade at 11 and you make $1,000, it will not show up in your account until after 3 p.m., which is the hour from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. That's the first thing that people are going to get confused about. They're going to say, I made money or I lost money. Why is it not reflected in my account? It's because it needs to clear every day for one hour for a break from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time, or in other words, this is 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Pacific time. All right. Number one. Number two, I want to um, show you guys, and I'm going to click back and forth here, and, and I know this is grayed out here, but I can still show this to you guys as we're in this hour break. I, I wanted to make sure I record this with this here because this is something that you guys are going to uh, ask questions about, and it needs to just be in the forefront. Why did trading stop? So let's go through the procedure now of how to place a long and a short trade on futures. This is very, very simple. Long trade, market. You guys know how to do this. This is what you've done in spot for a very long time. You go buy, mark it, and you can put in the amount of contracts here. Now, a contract is going to be a tenth of the price of Bitcoin. And when you come over here and you start trading Bitcoin with futures, you're going to have a, a notional value, you're going to have a leverage, and you're having a margin required value. And you're having a contract multiplier. I don't have this on right now, but what you're going to see once this switches over to 3 p.m. or before that, you're going to be able to see a multiplier on here for leverage. And basically making this very simple, your long trades are going to be leveraged at the current moment of recording this at about 3.5x, and your shorts are going to be leveraged around from what I'm seeing about 2.3x. This is where it gets tricky. And this is another point that you guys need to write down. You need to understand that your strategy for your long trades and your short trades are not going to use the same amount of leverage. Why does this happen? I'm not entirely sure why. I think it has something to do with liquidity, kind of how Coinbase has this set up where they feel that they may be, be able to receive uh, greater fees on their end for trades being placed with higher amounts of leverage. The higher amount of leverage you put on either one of these increases the fee that Coinbase gets paid because you are then using more money. Okay, so I think there has something to do with that. I'm not going to get into intricacies of that, but I think that has something to do with it. Point being is you want to check your leverage. Now, even though this is not open and it's available to trade here right now, I can teach you guys about this, and this is very simple. If you are going to open a short trade, because you're you most likely you're not over here to open long trades, although if you want to use leverage, that's great. You know how to do a long trade. You buy, market, you can do the you know, 10 contracts, 20 contracts, 50 contracts, it will tell you exactly how much total down here you need in your cash account to place the trade. It, it, this is very elementary and very simple. Let me just say it one more time. If you want to trade leverage on cryptocurrency, on Coinbase, you go to buy, you can go to market, you can place in how many contracts you would like to order, let's say 10 contracts. It will tell you how much leverage you are going to have and it's going to show you the margin required. And the total down here is what you need in cash, which is going to be taken out of this amount right here. This is very simple, guys. All right, let me now move over to teaching you guys how to short trade. What you're going to do for short trading is you're going to click sell slash short. 
When you come over and do a market order, let's say you did 10 contracts right here. This is nice that it's blocked out. It keeps it very simple so price isn't moving for us. If you did 10 contracts and you shorted right here, what you're going to see is that you're going to have a leveraged amount that's gonna pop up here when it populates. You're gonna have a total amount that your contracts are worth, okay? Remember how I said that it's a 10th of the price of Bitcoin? It's a 10th, but you need to also imply the leverage that's being used. And a simple way to understand how much your trade value is of how much you're trading is simply by looking at the total. So what I do sometimes is I say, all right, I've got $20,242 in cash over here, and I only want to trade with 50% of my US dollars on a single trade. This is just an example. Here is where you need to write this note down. You guys are going to be thinking about leverage, and you're going to see 2.3x. You're going to see 2.5, 3.6. It's going to be all over the place. What you can do is simply structure your contracts so that the amount of risk matches the dollar amount or the percentage amount off of your U.S. dollar balance. Does this make sense? Just because you can leverage and you can use 2.3x leverage, you can still control the percentage of allocation of the funds in your cash to the trade, even though they're, con they're um, <laughs> contracted in contracts versus the price of, of Bitcoin at, say, 43905 So simply just adjust your contracts so you are then purchasing the amount of US dollars worth of Bitcoin that you would like. Now, once you've done this, you can place a sell order and you will immediately down here, see under positions, if you guys click this, the order will show up under positions. And that position will increase and decrease in value. But the beauty of this is that because you took a short position, if the market goes down, you're going to see this turn green over here, the, 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 um, the realized p and You're going to make money as the market goes back down. Okay, now I'm gonna get into something a little more advanced, and this is where you need to take out probably a bigger piece of paper because I'm gonna teach you guys how to set stop losses on short trades. This is very confusing for some people, um, so please understand this. I'm gonna start by working with long trades first because you guys need to understand this is a simple principle that we understand in spot markets where if you wanna go long, you go buy market. And let's say, for example, we go buy right here. So when you are purchasing Bitcoin and you are going long, how do you set a stop loss? So let's say we don't want the price to go below this area. How do we do this? We do this by setting what we call a sell stop. So a sell stop, let's say we came out here and we bought um, 10 contracts of Bitcoin and we wanted to come over and wanted to set a stop loss down at 43,840. What we would do is we would do a sell stop, okay, sell, and then we would do a stop, and this would stop the price from going down and declining our funds past $43,840, and that would stop us out. This is very simple and basic. It's a simple stop loss that everybody knows how to do. Now, if you wanted to do a take profit and you went long here and you said you wanted to take some profit at structure high here, how would you do that? You would do what's called a sell limit. So a sell limit would give you guys an automatic exit of the funds that you placed here on your long trade when price for this example, let's say got to $44,050. That is a sell limit. So again, if you wanna go long, you go buy market. If you wanna set a stop loss, you do sell stop at a lower level. If you want to do a take profit on a long, you go sell limit, and that will give you a take profit. Now, when you go short, it is the exact opposite. So if you were to come out in the market right now and you were to take a short trade right here and you wanted to set a stop loss on your short trade, what would you do? You would need to use what's called a buy stop order. Okay, you guys got that? I'm gonna walk through it again. Let's say theoretically we open a position right now for 10 contracts to short Bitcoin. Okay, 10 contracts to short and I wanted to set a stop loss at $44,040. I would go over to buy stop, and I would place the amount at 10 contracts. When you do this with a short trade open, you're going to realize that you don't have any margin required. Why is that? Is because it is already taking the amount of contracts you have in the market, and it's associating this buy stop 
or in other words, this stop loss on the short with the contracts that are already open in the market. That is how you place a stop loss. Now, how do you place a take profit on a short? So if you short here, let's say with 10 contracts, and you want to make a take profit exit, let's say, uh, let's, let's use this number here, 43,800. How do you do that? You want to do what's called a buy limit. Okay, remember on longs, how we wanted to set a take profit, we did sell limit. If you want to set a take profit on a short, you do buy limit. Okay, let me go over that one more time just so you guys can get this clear. If you want to short Bitcoin right now, you could short it with, I'm going to pick an example here, 10 contracts, and you're going to short. If you want to set up a stop loss, you are going to do a buy stop for 10 contracts. If you want to do a take profit, you are going to do a buy limit, and this is going to be for 10 contracts. You can let this ride once it comes down here and it closes out, you know, great job, you've made money. Or if it comes back up here, hits your stop loss, then you guys have closed the trade as well. All right, that is how you can place long, which we associate with buy, and short, which we associate with sell trades. This is very, very simple, and when this opens up here, you guys will be able to see all the numbers populate. I'm glad this isn't like this because it makes it more simple. Again, all you need to remember is no matter how many contracts you put in here, just make sure the total amount that you are trading with is less than, obviously, the amount up here, and it won't allow you to do that anyways. What I suggest you guys do is find a strategy for yourself that you say, all right, based off this entry that I want to make, rather long or short, find the percentage of allocation of the US dollars you want to enter the trade. Let's say it's even just $1,000 out of the 20,000 and structure your contract so your total just equals 1,000. That way, you are not getting stimulated by the extra leverage that it's staring you in the face over here saying, you know, I, I came in here and bought $10,000 worth, but really my, my notional value is over $30,000 because I have you know, leverage on here. That sounds very exciting. Don't get involved with the leverage. Use good risk management and look at the percentage of allocation into the trade based off your dollar amount. And that is where you can guys can keep yourself stay safe and not get too stimulated. Okay. Now, the last part of this video uh, masterclass is you need to find out a way of how you're going to get your funds back into your bank account. And this is interesting. So Coinbase does a couple things. Coinbase has two different um, let me draw it like this so you guys can see this here. This is quite interesting when I found this out, and it will be tricky for some of you, um, but I'll make this very simple. So in the spot market, okay, in spot market, you can open and close a trade. Remember this one right over here. You can open and close a trade the same day, and you your USD funds are going to clear immediately. I'm going to do an I for immediately. It, you can open it, you can close it, and it's going to go, go back to your US dollars, and you can literally do a transfer 10 seconds later. That's the spot market. That's the beauty of the spot market. Futures trading is not the same way. I have open trades, I've closed trades, I've won trades, I've lost trades, I've, I've worked this system a lot. Um, made some money over here, as you guys can see. I put $20,000 in. You need to actually wait 48 hours, okay, 48 hours, for your funds to clear in a separate clearinghouse. The funds that are traded on the futures market are not kept in the same, I'm gonna call it bank account, as the spot market for Coinbase. The way you can see this, and I hope that maybe this will show this to us right now, if you click transfer funds, you need to transfer funds from your spot uh, excuse me, from your futures account to your to your spot. So let's say, for example, you know, we made some money today and we want to transfer the funds. You would go transfer from futures to spot because what you want to do here is you want to transfer the amount of money you've made in your futures account over to your spot account because the only way to get money out of Coinbase after making proceeds on futures trading is to get the money into a spot account and then go from spot over to your bank account. Okay, this is a very simple process, guys. You are just gonna literally come up here. Remember, after it clears, so you need to wait after 2 p.m., or in this case, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Once you're done with the trading for the day or the week, click transfer funds, come over here and click transfer from futures to spot. And this is gonna show you guys how much money you have available and you can just transfer all. Once you transfer all this, it's then going to come over here and let's come back over to our main portfolio. It's gonna show up in my assets underneath, give some time to load here, it's gonna show up under US dollars, 
Okay, and that's why I have this US dollars here because I made money in the futures market. I put $20,000 into futures. I made $242 to test all this out to teach you guys. And what I did is I transferred the money from futures to spot market and that's why it's back over here. Now, once the money comes back over to US dollar, this is a very simple thing. You can literally click these three little dots right here, click cash out and you can, <laughs> I mean, I might just do this right now. Maybe kind of fun. You can come over here and you can just cash out as much as you want. So if I want to go back to $20,000, I could just take out 242.72. I could review this to my bank account. It's going to be instant. There's going to be a little bit of a fee, which, you know, it is what it is. Uh, actually, we may be able to do this without a fee. Let me just check here. Um, instant. No, yeah, just do this. Uh, if you guys connect up a bank account where you have an ACH transfer, this is going to be free. So don't don't pay the fee. Connect your bank account up and that'll be a lot easier for you. So that is how you can literally come in, trade futures, go long, go short, transfer money back into your spot account, and literally on a daily basis, you guys can transfer money back to your accounts. Recall, however, that it is going to take up to 48 hours for the funds to clear after the hour break during the day. So to take this a little bit further, to make it a little more simple for you guys when you're trading, follow this, and this is something you guys can do. What you can do is you could, just as an example, I'm gonna give you guys you know, my take on this, is you could trade Monday through Friday, make as much money as you can in futures market, and on Friday, what you can do is you can initiate a withdrawal on Friday, and by Monday afternoon, Okay, so you need to wait Saturday and Sunday. By Monday afternoon, you should be able to have all your funds available in your cash account, remember, which is under spot, to take out to your bank account. So again, you could trade Monday through Friday on futures, make as much money as possible, and then on Friday afternoon, let's say 3 p.m., 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you could initiate a transfer, and within that 48 hours over the weekend, you should be able to have all your funds cleared in your spot USD account so you can then transfer it over to your bank account to start a new week of fresh futures trading as well as be able to withdraw that money to your bank account to go buy some Chipotle burritos or whatever you guys want <laughs> with the money you made. Okay. Um, last but not least, uh, let me go into this very quickly. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but this is basically the different contracts you guys can trade. Most of you guys are just going to be sticking to Bitcoin or Ethereum. And so I would personally, um, I'm not a financial advisor here, but this is what I would, you know, recommend is that you guys go ahead and just leave the contract where it's at. So today when I'm recording, this is January 30th. This contract, basically you guys can trade Bitcoin on this contract until February 24th. At the end of the contract date, this is when all funds get settled. Um, this is a futures contract where sometimes you've probably heard about this with uh, cattle. You've heard about this with land, potentially oil, that if you buy a futures contract, there is a settlement date. And on that settlement date, you either have to give the product or the cash to the person that purchased the contracts. And so what I do to make this very, very simple, guys, is I personally do not trade on the contract close date. So for this example, it is January 30th right now. You have from January 30th all the way to, I would say, February 23rd, where I can trade as much as I want. I personally just don't trade on the contract close date because I just don't want anything kind of funky happening. I, If you know how to trade through it, that's fine. You can roll over your contracts, but I'm just telling you, if you want to make this very simple, I just personally don't trade on the contract close date, which is just <laughs> one day out of every month, which is not a big deal at all. Okay, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, but this is a masterclass on how you guys can trade this. You literally can get into this right now and start trading. This is beta for some people. I was able, uh, I was actually invited by Coinbase to come um, trade on futures, which I got a personal letter from them, which was kind of cool. But I think most of you guys are able to do this. Again, go up to your beautiful mugshot, go to advanced, go to futures, and you guys will be able to start trading immediately. And that is how you trade futures. Be responsible. Know that there is leverage implied on longs and shorts. Understand that there is not the same amount of leverage applied to long and shorts, so please use good risk management. And again, if I can just drill this home, guys, no matter what you do, no matter how excited you get by how much leverage they are going to give you, look to see what your total is and use risk management based off the percentage of allocation into the trade based off what your US dollar balance shows you. That will keep you guys safe. And do not forget, if you want to, to use your stop losses and your take profits to kind of structure trades for you so you're not having to watch the charts all the time. 
All right, guys, God bless you. I hope you got a lot out of this, and I will see you guys in the next future forecast here on tradeconfident.io. Bye, guys.